What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by, spending a few minutes of your time here with me today. I've been thinking a lot recently about temptation. And I have quite a bit of experience with temptation. I've learned a lot from temptation over the course of my life. And I wanted to share with you what I know about temptation in hopes that it helps you someday. Temptation is defined as a desire or urge to do something, especially something wrong or unwise, okay? And temptation in and of itself is not a bad thing. However, when we give in to our temptation, this leads us to suffering and to what a lot of people would call sin, but temptation itself is not bad, okay? Temptation especially shows itself when we find ourselves at like a spiritual crossroads, meaning that we're making a decision or a decision or choice is presented to us in which whichever one we choose will send us in a different direction, right? We're at a crossroads here. <clears throat> this is when temptation really shows itself when we're trying to make life-altering decisions, all right? A lot of us, for example, right now have made New Year's resolutions, a lot of people are planning on starting or stopping certain things, right? Like, <clears throat> I am going to stop drinking, or I am going to stop eating fast food. I'm going to start sleeping better. I'm going to start going to the gym and exercising. These are all spiritual decisions. And I don't mean that a person's reasons for making this decision are spiritual. I mean that when a person makes a decision like this, a lifestyle change type of decision, a spiritual battle will ensue. A psychic or psychological battle is soon to come. This is when temptation really comes into play, right? It's when you decide to change. You'll be tempted always to go back to your old ways. It's really strange how it works, but it's like, you know, they say the more you do something with your body, right? The more it becomes ingrained in you. Literally, your brain is forming new neural connections and pathways, right, that make things easier for you. This is sort of the physiological process of learning. There is actually a change occurring <clears throat> in the folds of your brain, right? You are creating a path, and the deeper that that path gets, the more you do it, the easier it becomes for you to do it, and the harder it becomes for you to do it a different way. And it's the same way we get locked into, because we're creatures of habit, right? We, because of our habits, we form like living habits called lifestyles. And those lifestyles are hard to change, okay? We can lock ourselves into unhealthy lifestyles even, right? <clears throat> and the more of the same decisions we make, the deeper we're creating this path that's leading us towards a uh, fate, right? A final destination. Fate could be described as like the sum total of your decisions, right? Um, and your choices in life. This is your fate. And you can make different decisions, but ultimately life is trying to keep you in this certain path. And when you try to get out of that, take a different path, it's going to do everything it can to pull you back in there because that's the easier thing to do, right? So you're tempted to go back to your old ways because that's what you know, sort of. 
Does that make sense? Right? <clears throat> so, temptation, it's overwhelming at first, right? It's hard to resist, but every time we resist, we become stronger. And you can resist. There's a Bible quote about this that I happen to agree with. It says, God is faithful. He will not tempt a person beyond their own strength. Okay, so you do have everything that you need to be able to resist. And when you resist, even if you're only resisting for like five minutes or ten minutes before you give in, every time you resist, you get a little bit stronger. And you're going to need every bit of your strength because temptation never really goes away. It only gets stronger. If you have no temptation, you're either like enlightened, like you're not human anymore, Okay, you're a god, sort of. Or if you're not experiencing temptation, you're just giving in to temptation without even a second thought. You're not even aware of temptation. That's how much you're just giving into it. You're living in temptation. You're living in your sin. Okay, so this is why temptation is a good thing. It's a good sign. When you are presented with temptation, this means that you're where it provides evidence, a sign that you are moving further away from your sin. As you move further away from sin, the more temptation tries to pull you back. You see what I'm saying? The more temptation is there. It's, it's strange how it works, right? I'll give you a story so you can see what I mean. Before I moved to Texas, right? I moved here probably like nine years ago. Before I moved here, I was on hard drugs for some years and I had done about a year in county jail in Florida and while I was in there I decided that I wanted to change my life I didn't want to do drugs anymore I wanted a different life but since a young kid like my first teenage years I started experimenting with drugs that's all I had ever known you know what I mean that's how it felt. I didn't know how to do anything different. I just knew I wanted to do something different. And it was close to my release date. And I was excited. I was going to leave Florida jail, go straight to a Greyhound bus station, and go straight here to Texas. Okay, that was the plan. I got released with another dude, right? And somehow, when we, I mean, we walked out of the doors together. Okay, somehow when we walked out of the doors, this dude already had a blunt rolled, like magic or something. It was like he had a blunt that was in his personal property. It was like in his clothes or stuck in his wallet in some way that when they got his stuff during his intake process, they didn't find it. So he was released with a blunt. And so you see how immediate temptation is there? He was like, hey, I've got this blunt. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you want to smoke? And I'm like, what? How? How do you have this already? You know what I mean? And I, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this is odd. And I, I declined because I knew my mom was coming to pick me up to bring me to the Greyhound station. I can't get in there blitzed out of my mind. You know what I mean? So I made it to the Greyhound bus station and, you know, started this long ride from Florida to Texas. And we stopped at this place in Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas at the Greyhound bus station and I was getting off. We had a slight layover. I was gonna walk, this was the middle of the night. I was gonna walk over to this little gas station that was near there and get something to eat, something to drink, and then go back to my bus. <clears throat> As I started walking, I didn't even make it out of the like bus station. This person stopped me and said, hey, I got these Xanax, I'm trying to sell them. They're only like two or three dollars a piece. I just need to buy some cigarettes. And I was like, oh, shoot, bro, sorry. Uh, I'm not buying those, but I can buy you a pack of cigarettes. And he was like, snapped at me. He was like, you didn't hear what I said? I'm trying to get rid of these Xanax. And I was like, whoa, like, all right, I can't help you. And I just started walking. As I started walking, I'm getting to where I can see the gas station, okay? And it's dark outside. Like I said, it's actually starting to drizzle. You can hear thunder sort of rolling in. Ominous, like this person materialized like out of the bushes. They were a couple inches taller than me. I'm six foot tall. This was a tall person. He walked up to me. I could see he had this lazy eye, like a blind eye that was pointing 
a different direction. He walks up and says, hey, young blood, I'm catfish. I'm like, what? Like, at first, I don't even understand what he's saying. He's, like, telling me his name. He's introducing himself as Catfish. And I was like, oh, okay, what's up, bro? And he was like, would you mind buying me a hot dog and a drink from the store right here? And I was like, oh, yeah, I got you. Come on. And he stopped me as we were walking. He said, look, young blood, with the five or ten bucks you're going to go in here and spend on food for me, I could take that up the road and get right. And I understood what he was saying. And I was like, whatever, all I got is 20s, bro. But here's a here's a 20, do your thing. He was like, okay, cool, thanks. And he took off. I walked to the gas station. Another person stepped out and said, hey, bro, do you think you could buy me a hot dog and a bag of chips? And I'm like, what is this? Is this the neighborhood hustle or something? And I was like, yeah, bro, I got you, come on. Well, this time he actually came with me, went in the store. He made himself a hot dog, grabbed a bag of chips, walked up to the counter and the cashier looked at me and said who is this for when I was going to pay for it I said oh it's for my buddy right here and he was like oh you guys can just have it and he just gave us the food I was like all right that was cool now I leave I'm walking back to the bus station and catfish materializes again pops out on me he's wearing like a trench coat bro and now behind him it's starting to rain a little bit harder and behind him and behind me in the sky lightning is flashing it's like semi-illuminating his face and this thought hit me like right i was like bro this is the devil like not that this guy uh was evil or something but my mind at the time i'm not as mature then as I am now so my mind I was like bro I'm looking at the devil face to face he walks up to me and opens up his hand and shows me the crack rocks and is like look bro there's plenty of more if you want to come with me and I'm like hey dude any other time as the lightning is flashing and thundering is booming I'm like any other time catfish I might go with you and my adrenaline is pumping I don't know what's gonna happen I'm like any other time bro I would go with you and party but I got 10 minutes to get back on my bus I can't afford to miss it bro you know what I'm saying so I gotta take off and I just started walking <clears throat> I didn't wait for a response or anything I just took off I got back on that bus and that entire ride I was released from that jail with $400 I had $400 I spent all of that on these two girls they had kids every time they got off the bus I got off the bus with them. we started talking on the bus I just followed them every time they got off when they went to the gas station I bought their food um, you know everything whatever they wanted little toys for the kids I spent nearly all of that money just buying snacks and drinks for people on the bus and giving things away like this because I was scared really of what I would do if I had this money because it was hard for me to say no when I saw those crack rocks bro it's like I could taste them or something like that you know what I mean but I made it all the way to Texas without getting high and I feel like it was a it was a moment for me right it was a huge test temptation that's what temptation really is it's a test and it feels kind of messed up sometimes I think I'm like okay in this instance right I really want to quit using drugs this is such a good thing for me to want to quit why would the universe go out of its way it feels like right to make it available to me to like just put it in my face sometimes it's really hard to find this stuff but here I am I'm just walking randomly in a place I've never been and people are just popping up out of the woodworks offering me drugs bro it was like a dream come true except for I'm trying to quit and it always seems to happen like that that's because in these moments this is a spiritual crossroad in these moments this is when temptation really arises I want you to be aware of this you know what I'm saying this will help you out it's when you decide to change something this is when temptation is really going to come in and try to kick your ass and every time you resist you'll get stronger you know <clears throat> anyways 15 minute long video that's too long for me I usually don't talk that much but uh but I guess I'll share some news with you here at the end of the video I actually today got approved for a loan for school I'm gonna go to barber school here in March I'm gonna start that I'm gonna become a, a barber I'm looking forward to the journey I'm actually really excited and a little nervous about it to be honest man but um, yeah that's what's going on with me so I hope everything's good with you I hope 2023 brings nothing 
but peace and prosperity to your life, man. And like always, until next time, I hope you continue to free your mind.